Hi, this is Devi. This video we're going to talk about partial application in JavaScript. What is it really? The idea of a partial application comes from the fact that you can take a system and then split that into multiple systems. In this case, let's say for example we have a function and we can then turn that function into multiple small function and then build them in small chunks right for example if you have a function let's say add that takes multiple arguments let's say x y and z right so this one here it's quite obvious we're just going to say x y and z here right so you can see that we have that function if we have to call it we're just going to pass one two three and we can see that we have uh, something quite uh, a simple happening here which is six right the idea of partial application here is to take that add function and be able to actually write that uh, take the argument not all at the same time because you might not be at and you might not have them already uh, uh, available but you can take them in small chunk right so how would you write that so let's do a quick uh, example of how a partial function will look like okay so we're going to create a function and let's call it partial and what we're going to do is to say well that function there's going to take a f another function right we don't really uh, know which which kind of function is going to be for now we're just going to say that's a function and then it's going to take a list of arguments because you don't know how many arguments that function fn will take and then how are you going to implement that? You're going to say, well, that partial function is basically going to return another function, which is uh, basically the function you will get there. But then that second function there itself is going to have some more arguments, right? More arcs here. And finally, what you're going to do is to call the fn function, right? That's uh, the one you have been... Uh, you have been passed right here you're going to pass to to call that function that's going to take first all the arguments that were passed here and then more arguments right here and in fine you have to return it so you have something working really well right there so let's try that instead of calling it th that way i'm just going to pass that with partial and then say i'm going to call that function for example with one and two okay so then I have a partial function. As you can see here, I only have one and two as argument, but that function takes three arguments, right? So add, I'm calling it partially with one and two right now. And then I will, for example, say call plus three, right? Because we that function there was gonna be three already. And then whatever you pass is just going to be a plus three. So here I can then do plus three and then say, I'm going to pass three. And then you see that uh, this is going to yield uh, some, uh, uh, the, the same result here, right? I can pass five and it's just adding on top of it, right? So that's the idea of a partial function that you have here. And then you can basically split the, the, the this idea uh, of a function which can take multiple argument and you can split that into small chunks right so that is one of implement implementation now we did use that implementation here but actually there is function like when you think in terms of partial application you can find that in javascript natively so you, there is a thing called in javascript a function dot prototype bind if you don't if you never use bind you can refer to one of our videos where uh, I can ex I explain where how bind works really uh, the idea there is you can take any function and then turn that into a partial function so let me do that here so instead of using that partial right here what I'm going to do I'm going to use bind to achieve the same result and the way I'm going to do this is just by saying, I'm going to call the function add, okay? Then pass the bind. And then right here, I'm just going to say null. And if you look at the, if you look at the documentation, you're going to realize that 
this null here will have replaced anything within add that will be the this keyword right so this here will have become a, a null in the in this case or it will just be ignored in other cases okay so now you see i just use bind and i get exactly the same result okay so that's the idea of a partial application in javascript it's a pretty easy concept when you get a handle on it the name seems scary at first but in this case just think in terms of you have a function that is probably complicated and you want to turn that into small chunk and then compose them that way okay that's it for today and see you on the next video